Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at a true legend. This is the Brigade Type 20 Transatlantique Reference 3820ST, 39mm in brushed and polished stainless steel. You can see this pilot's watch on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there if you like. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. And you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. It has classical good looks timeless proportions and details, but a modern sports watch stance. 46 millimeters from extremity of lug to extremity of lug. It's nice and compact. In terms of breadth, it's only two millimeters wider across the wrist than a 36 millimeter Rolex Datejust. It does have a nice chunky image to it, being 14 and a half millimeters thick, but it doesn't sit that high above the wrist. You can see the conical case back that allows it to nestle in when strapped down to reduce the stack height. It has a generously sloped bezel to allow it to clear a tight sleeve or dress cuff, and the sapphire is wonderfully bubble shaped. It has a nice swell and curvature to it to evoke a vintage mid-century plexiglass crystal. Really well done in a subtle, in a subtle fashion evocative and a beautiful homage. You can see it again from this angle. It just has a wonderful domed effect to it. Now the dial is classical. In combination with the brushed bezel you can see two of the primary refinements of the Transatlantique over the reference 3800 Aero Naval. Now the original Breguet Type 20 was named after the military contract by the French Air Ministry for a pilot's watch, the Type 20. Like the Mark 11 pilot's watches of the 40s, it drew its name from the contract number, and it was originally built by four different manufacturers, Dodin, Vixa, Oricost, and Breguet. Breguet, from 1954 to the mid-70s, persisted the longest with the original Type 20 and became the definitive manufacturer. By the time production ceased in about 1976, the Type 20 was an icon inextricably linked to the great Franco-Swiss watch manufacturer. Now, the watch you see here was part of the modern luxury watch era relaunch of the Type 20 in 1995. The 3800 was the Aero Naval, a little bit more historically literal, and this was the Transatlantique upscale. So what you get for those upscale refinements are the brushed bezel that mutes the watch, makes it look a bit more sober, a bit of a better companion for formal attire and more versatile stylistically, as well as the date window, something the Aero Naval did not have. Now what both of them featured that the vintage watches did not is a tri-register chronograph layout. So hours, minutes, and seconds rather than just the minutes and seconds of the vintage Type 20s. Now the watch also features a wonderful combination of broad Arabic numerals, hands, and modern Luminova. There were two series of these. The first featured tritium dials, and while those now have a gorgeous patina, they're not very effective as full-featured sports watches. Not only is this Type 20 fully loomed, but it has 100 meter water resistance, 330 feet. So if you do want to put this one on an historically accurate, evocative NATO-style textile strap, other than the fact that the bezel is a pilot's bi-directional, you're good to get wet and wild should you want to take the flight on your seaplane. Now, since it does have that capability to get a little bit wet and act as a full-featured sports watch for all occasions, you can want to know, how does it light up at night? How does this Luminova dial translate into low-light and no-light visibility? Well, the legend deserves its moment in the sun, but it also deserves some time with the lights out when the loom is right. So we're going to give this Type 20 its due. And now we're looking at instrument flight rules only. For the Type 20 here, you see how beautifully loomed it is. You can see the index on the bi-directional rotating bezel. Again, as long as you're not using it as a dive timer, you can align it with the minutes hand and you can use it to time a separate simultaneous event along with the chronograph at center. You can see that this is not some sort of meek, barely loomed dress watch with a token sliver of Luminova across the hands at center. It's full featured, it's fully loomed, and it will rival any dive watch in low light and no light visibility. The sun rises over the horizon, we're back to visual flight rules. Now you can see this Type 20, wonderfully refined, also features a hidden refinement that you can't see over the historic ones. Those were manual wind. This one is automatic winding with the Great Breguet Caliber 582Q contrasting with the 3800 Aero Naval's 582, the Q representing Contiem, 
French for your calendar. So you've got that little extra refinement, and the heritage of this movement is second to none. Based on the great Le Mania 1340, that was actually the first automatic chronograph movement to receive COSC certification. While this one is not a COSC certified chronometer, it has abundant modern refinements, including 25 joules, compared to the 17 of the original Le Mania 1340. This is an upscale, automatic winding, tough as nails, 48 hour power reserve, La Magna movement now exclusive to Breguet, it can truly be considered an in-house movement in as much as you will find it nowhere these days but a Breguet watch. You can see this living legend, the Breguet Type 20 with modern refinements, tri-register chronograph, water resistance, deployant clasp, automatic winding, and date window. You can strap it on, you can take flight on our website, watchyouwant.com.